Hey Bill, this is Steven from CMP Automotive here in Calgary, and this right here is our 2022 Cadillac CT4 Premium Luxury. So first things first, I want to thank you for your interest in this unit. I think this is a very, very striking car. Now let's talk about this color. It's called Wave Metallic, and I think it is the perfect balance of sportiness and classiness, and I think it really suits this car well. Um, the lines really pop, it's eye-catching, you don't see it everywhere. And it's a color instead of, you know, your normal whites, blacks, and grays on the road. This really stands out. Now, what I intend to do in this video, I'll give you a little walk around tour, go over some key features, and uh, that way you can get a better understanding of what this vehicle offers and what it looks like beyond the photos on our website. So let's get started. Now, up front, you have the signature LED daytime running lamps, vertical on each side, on each quarter. And of course the headlamps are full LED as well. Around the sides, you get these very sharp looking 18 inch alloy wheels. They are wrapped in Continental Pro Contact all season rubber. Now, you mentioned you wanted a smaller sedan. This is Cadillac's smallest, smallest sedan, uh, the CT4. Uh, it's built off the Alpha chassis, which is known for its excellent balance of handling and ride quality. 50-50 weight distribution, uh, excellent steering, um, great brakes, just a very, very fun to drive yet comfortable vehicle. So I'm excited to see what you think uh, during the test drive. But anyways, uh, moving out back, you of course have the signature LED uh, vertical taillights. You of course get dual exhaust down the, the rear bumper. You get a backup camera integrated into the spoiler right here. And A very cavernous trunk with 60 40 split rear seat backs. This, of course, is an all wheel drive model. Let's take a look at the interior. So, you have leather seating, you have rear AC vents. center armrest with cup holders and above your head all the lighting in here is going to be LED as well now I'm about six feet tall I have the front seat adjusted how I drive let's see how I fit back here I actually have plenty of room headroom as well and I can tuck my feet underneath the seat if need if need be not bad at all Uh, let's talk about these mirrors. So you have integrated LED turn signals. The mirrors themselves are heated, auto dimming, and you have integrated blind spot monitoring as well. Getting into interior, you have power trunk, of course. You have memory seats if there are multiple drivers in the, uh, in the household. Obviously being a Cadillac or any modern vehicle, you have power windows, door locks, and mirrors. The power driver seat with power lumbar support. The passenger seat is also power operated, which is nice. Let's hop behind the wheel. Now to the left of the steering wheel, I have a, an electric parking brake. Steering wheel itself is leather wrapped and heated. The seats themselves are also heated and ventilated, so cooled. Uh, straight ahead, I have a analog uh, RPM gauge and speedometer with a digital display in the middle. And I can go through different uh, info, as you would expect. Uh, to the right of that, I have a touchscreen, right? Whoops, car was running for a little bit. Let me turn it back on. Now, even though I have a touchscreen, right, you still have a physical volume knob as well as tuning knob and a hard home button, which takes me back there. Now, into the screen, I have integrated Sirius XM radio. Integrated Sirius XM radio. I have integrated Spotify, once that disappears, uh, Amazon Alexa, and of course your OnStar. Uh, I have a Wi Fi hotspot. I have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, and that goes along with the wireless charger right here. A lot of cars have wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, but they won't have a, a wireless charger, which never made sense to me. But there you are. 
Uh, of course, you have dual zone climate control. Um, you have lane keep assist. You can disable the parking sensors if you wish. And as you know, on the steering wheel, it of course has adaptive cruise and of course the blind spot monitor again I mentioned before. Center console here. I have your auto stop and start, which is defeatable. Auto hold, which is a feature that allows you to um, hold the vehicle stationary as you would with your with your foot on the brake. However, if you have this um, uh, engaged, you can take your foot off the brake and the car will remain stationary until you hit the gas and it will get going. Um, to the right of that, I have mold buttons and I can scroll through that, touring and sports, as well as snow and ice. And yeah, that pretty much sums up the interior. I do apologize, it's quite dark outside. Um, above my um, head, I have a Homelink garage door opener. Again, all the lighting in here is gonna be LED. I have uh, hard buttons for OnStar and SOS. The um, rear view mirror is gonna be frameless. And I also have a power sunroof. All right. I think that pretty much sums it up for now. Thanks for watching. Hope to uh, meet you soon.